position at six foot three inches, number 23, Keon Ellis. At forward, six foot eight, number 40, Harrison. Standing six foot eight, number 13, Keegan Murray. At guard, six foot three, number five, De'Aaron Paul. At the center position, six feet ten inches, number 10. The head coach of your home team. Another round of applause for your Sacramento Kings. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. With Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony alongside, I'm Kevin Harlan at the table. And from the sidelines, it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Alden. Now, Golden State's starting five. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Then it's Andrew Wiggins and it's Jackson Davis in at the big spot and in the middle. And for Sacramento, Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Deion Fox out there with us and it's Barnes in at the first spot. And the regular season, Richard, is finally here. <laughs> I am excited to work with you again this season. Cannot wait for the schedule. Ah, oh, to work with you, Kev, man. You're a legend, and it's always an interesting journey. We're fired up. These teams are fired up. Let the games begin. Fox against Curry. And there's the drive. And that one, good. Stephen Curry, he is so lethal on the drive. Once Curry knifes inside, there's little you can do to stop him. against Curry. Murray outside. Six to shoot. Pulls it up. The Warriors pull it in. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Here's Curry over Sabonis. Curry can't get it to go. And it's Sabonis with the ball for Sacramento. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. The first free throw is good. And hard not to get excited about Keegan Murray's potential. He can shoot the ball. He rebounds it. If this guy continues to grow his game, he could end up being a high-level impact player. And so Murray nails both of them. And last season, Greg, the Kings clinched their first Pacific Division title in 20 years. And they repeated as division champs back in 02 and 03, something they're hoping to achieve again this year as the Kings build off of their breakout season. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Outside, Sabonis. Ellis outside. That ball's high speed that time from Sabonis. Such a talented passer at his position. Sabonis is all about making winning plays. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. And, yes, records are made to be broken. But R.J. made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. That's good from Stephen Curry. Think about the impact that Steph has had on this game. Him and his team have changed the way the game is played. They have ushered in the three-point error. 
Now, here's Sabonis. His last outing, he had 18 points. He kicks it to Barnes. And the layup's good off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Here's Curry. A stupendous finish in traffic. Curry. Curry's got 10 points in the game. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. Fox passes to Murray. Ellis surveying the D. There's a bonus. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Barnes against Green. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, Wiggins finds Curry, shoots over Fox. And Curry, Curry the bucket on the assist by Wiggins. 12 points for him. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hand. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. And Richard for the Warriors, a number of future Hall of Famers playing a part. Here on the 2K leaderboard of the rebounding leaders from a season ago, Demonis Sabonis is on top. And you know, he took a lot of pride in being at the top of that rebounding list. When all was said and done, he was a man among boys. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Murray dishes to Fox. Driving to the basket. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Boy, Fox, there may not be a quicker player with the ball in his hands. To the middle. Here's Curry. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got 14 points for the game. And how about six of eight with that one? And there is no slowing down this young man. Fox against Curry. And Fox gets it to go. So smooth. Fox is so good at repeating that stroke. Warriors leading by four. Now Curry. 14 points for him. Outside, Green. And the call will be against Sabonis. Wiggins surveying the floor. Over Barnes. They get the rebound. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Knocked loose. Sabonis kicks to Fox. Outside, Sabonis. Shot clock at five. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Barnes can't get it to go. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. They lead by four. The contest and the rebound, folks. That is how you defend. Here's Murray. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And give credit to Murray right there, absorbing the hit and finding a way to finish. Fox against Curry. Pass to Green. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And the Warriors miss again. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Murray, the pass to Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. Flashing that creativity is so much fun watching Fox carve up defenses like this. Ellis against Thompson. Curry on the wing. The fadeaway. That's in. Stephen Coming off Curry. the assist from Thompson. Assisted by Thompson's got Clay three assists Thompson. now in this one. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Now here's Murray. Murray. 
lays it up off the glass. Murray's got six. And look at the inside presence already for Murray. It'll be fun to watch this young man grow. It's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. And looking at some numbers for Looney. Last year, getting it done. He put up about seven points a game, nine rebounds, and two assists. He's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play Jonathan all around. Him. Yeah, not playing outside himself, but finding lots of chances to do his thing and affect the game. Here's Duarte. Pass to Mitchell from deep three-point territory. It's rebounded by Peyton. The Warriors leading. Inside. And Chris Paul, the bucket on the assist from Peyton. The wily vet Paul able to score down low. Mitchell against Paul. Pass to Orte. And easy two points on the layup. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Paul passes to Looney. Peyton surveying the floor. There's the pass to Paul. Over Mitchell. Offensive rebound. Back to Peyton. Pass to Paul. Kicks it to Peyton. To the wing on the left. Here's Pajemski. And he's good on the Four, three ball. Three. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Here's Duarte. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Duarte. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. There will be some letdown at some point. But these teams, they are built to score, so... Here's Pajemski. It's a three-point game. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Stolen by Len. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Putting a cherry on top of that layup. Has a little fun with the double clutch. And he's got his... That one drops. He ties it up. RJ, the Warriors' dominance of this era has put them among the best franchises of all time. Yes, I would completely agree with that. No one comes close to the Lakers and Celtics, though, Kev. The Warriors, after the Spurs, I think the Spurs are three, but the Warriors and the Bulls because they had two dominant eras and not much really before and not much really after. And so Edwards will bring it up for the King. So they take the lead. And the Kings lead by two. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Pass to Looney. Now here's Kaminga. Down low. Here's Peyton. Takes it into the teeth of the knee and converts the way up. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Really putting the bigger defender on his heels. I love seeing aggressive finishes like that. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Paul left side. Aiden finds Paul. Here's Pajemski. Five to shoot. Let's the three fly. And another three, three for Golden points. State. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Ball against Mitchell. From deep, drains it from beyond the arc. Mitchell's got the game tied up here for Sacramento. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You train the triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge.
tie game and some big points being put up on the board. Clark, as we wrap up the first, and we'll be back with you right after this. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And looking at what we've seen from Sacramento so far, uh, guys, what do you think? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. Setting the floor for the Warriors. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Then it's Wiggins, and it's Jackson Davis in at the five. Curry against Fox. Outside, Green. To the inside, Wiggins. Good! Great play by Green to set it up. It's the length of Wiggins beating great defense, and that's some good basketball there. Curry against Fox. Ellis outside. Shoots and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him. Ellis has got the lead up to two now for Sacramento. Curry looking it over. Passes it to Wiggins. Fires for three and another three for Golden State. RJ, I've got a hypothetical for you. If we did a fantasy draft and you had the first overall pick, who would you take? I'm going to be yeah, honest. Fine. Right now, Step I'm going to have three. to probably say Jokic first, first foul. just because there's first no defense foul. that has been created. Steve Kerr says he has maybe the best hand-eye coordination in the world. Coach is not bad in his own right as the career leader in three-point percentage, but in their free-throw competitions, Steve says... He swishes everything. All right, are... David, thank you. <laughs> Fox hits them both. One thing that's really emerged, RJ, for De'Aaron Fox over the last few years, his leadership. Yeah, hey, when you combine great talent and maturity, your teammates will follow the example you set, and he is setting that example night in and night out. That's a fantastic decision by Curry. Defense too focused in on Steph. Fox dishes to Ellis. Trying to get open is Murray. And here's the break. Curry with it. Now guarded by Fox. Steph Curry, what a finish! And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Warriors. The enthusiasm they've brought to their defense so far is something else. Going after shooters and really hustling to get their hands on shots. And yeah, how about this team also following up their shots, getting those offensive boards, also a key for their success. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Timeout called for Warriors. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. And looking now at some numbers for Sabonis, he's coming off an excellent season. First in rebounding, and his passing skills were on full display all year. He ranked among the top 15 in assists. And getting back to the fact that he led the league in rebounding, you know how hard that is? What a tremendous asset to the team. Now here's Curry. He's got 18. The pass to Green. The shot comes out. Murray with the defensive effort. The Kings have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Sabonis trying to get open. Murray, good. Murray's got eight points. Showing some muscle on the finish. Murray is good at keeping his focus and finishing that basket. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Here's Jackson Davis. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. First personal foul. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. And this Chief, is his first trip to the line State. tonight. Trace Jackson Davis at the line for one.
Hey, Richard, how about Mike Brown and these Kings and what they did in the 22-23 season? Wow. Everyone was talking about the super teams. Meanwhile, the Kings ran the West and were atop the standings for most of the season. As they say in Sacramento, light that beam. And the three ball is good. Barnes has got five points now this quarter. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you can hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Last outing for Golden State, they won that game against the Jazz. Fox with it. Ten points for him. Barnes outside. Lock at six. And it's blocked. And here is Green. He kicks to Kerr. Pass to Wiggins. To the paint. Here's Green. That falls. Nice Rainbow feed that Green. time from Wiggins. Now it's a three-point Warrior lead. Pass to Sabonis. The dish to Ellis. And it's Ellis finishing it off. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Here's Curry. The Kings getting the bucket. Green taking his time here. Here's Wiggins. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Wiggins has got seven. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Barnes up top, covered by Wiggins. Yep, that one goes. Nine points in the game so far. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Passes it to Wiggins. To the inside. Here's Green. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. That's just bully ball. Green knows where he wants to go, and no one can do anything about it. Here's Fox. Here's Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. So it's the Warriors now. The Kings getting the buck. Inside, outside for Curry. Fires the three. Good, and it's Green Stephen picking up Curry the assist. For three. Green's got three assists tonight. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Far moving has been hard. Timeout called by the Kings. Talking about the Grizzlies veteran, Draymond Green. Still such an important player. Both teams will make substitutions. This is the list of last season's top shooters from the charity strike. These guys were practically automatic. Third is Stephen Curry. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. Ball against Mitchell. Kicks to Edwards. The pass to Len. Pass to Lyles. Shoots over Kaminga. Shots good by Lyles. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now Paul. Outside Curry. Puts up a deep three. And another three for Golden State. That's his second triple of the quarter and third of the game. Keep building. Mitchell against Paul. Mitchell passes Duarte. Out to Edwards. 
Good ball movement here by the Kings. Three. And too much time to the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And some changes here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. And it's Peyton in for Andrew Wiggins. Warriors leading by five. Pass to Looney. Down low. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That free throw good from Kaminga. All three throws good from Kaminga. The Kings trail by seven. Here's Mitchell. He has five. Passes to Orte. Wants to get it to Edwards and does. Right through the D for the layup. Edwards got his first two points. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Mitchell against Paul. One fifty-two left to play here in the half. Gary Payton, good. Assisted I've seen CP do this Chris a million Paul. times. No one is better at running the pick and roll. Mitchell looking it over. It's Edwards on the wing. Back to Mitchell. The pass to Arte. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Arte has got his third basket of the night right there. Here's Curry. Curry always finds a way. This time inside. This is what Curry does best. He is so creative at getting into rhythm and staying hot. Pass to Arte. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Duarte. Six on the shot clock. Miles inside. Peyton's there. Miles no good. Here's Looney driving in. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Ooh, just shook his man loose with a crafty play inside. And then the dunk just tops it off beautifully. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Wilds. Mitchell against Paul. And Curry, the bucket on the assist by Paul. Paul's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The shot and game clock separated by four. Here's Mitchell. It's rebounded by Paul. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. He dishes it to Pete. Passes it to Curry. Fires from deep. Oh, Curry nailing the deep one. Simply the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Every time he makes another three-pointer, he's adding to the record. And so we wrap up the first half. The Warriors lead by 12. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Draymond. Of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatches. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on me. If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. I just got to know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatches. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Penny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He ended up with 31 points, two rebounds, and three assists. Big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They're running the offense beautifully this way. Look at the good looks, the confidence of style. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow this way. And Kenny, what'd you see from Sacramento? Well, it's never. 
Sinclair and Sushi. That's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stop. I don't think the opponent can sustain this kind of defense. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, Goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. Okay, it's coming out. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Curry has been sensational. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. And let's see if the D adjusts make life a little more difficult on him. The Kings trail by 12. Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Ellis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's a bonus. In at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the five in the game for Warner's Sacramento. Five. Talk Trace about the Jackson value, Davis. Richard, of having a player First like Harrison five. Barnes on your roster. First free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. Warriors leading by 10. To the middle. Here's Green. He gets it in there. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's good from Green. A vocal leader both on and off the floor. Green plays with a real fire in edge. To the paint. Here's Murray. Good. And it's Fox who picks up the assist. Fox has got three assists tonight. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Now, here's Green. Shot clock at six. Back to Curry. Launches a three. And another three Stephen for Golden Curry. State. He's three been dominant points. all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. To the inside. Sabonis. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Defense you see the strength and the poise of Simone. He loves going Second in, taking foul. contact, and Second finishing over foul. defenders. And, when you... and that one misses. You can tell Sabonis brings a lot of heart to his game. He's serious about winning, but he also knows how to enjoy himself out there with his team. Now here's Wiggins. Seven points in the game. Down low, here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. Uh, and one Mom step ahead of the defense Andrew with that Wiggins. solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Oh, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. Here's a bonus. Just five on the clock. Near the three-point line, it's Ellis. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Ellis has got eight. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in the rhythm on the offense right now. Murray finds Thompson. Golden State moving it around. Back to Wiggins. Shoots. Sacramento grabs the miss. Their first miss since the break. Still, I like how they've come out so far. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Fox. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Now, here's Curry. He's got 34. Top shot. Curry. 
Ooh, Curry goes inside and just makes a tough shot. Timeout called by the Kings. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. With this stoppage in play, we have a chance now to show you which teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. Second, the Warriors. They ran a great system last year that put a priority on creating high-quality looks from deep, and it made them the best three-point shooting team in the league. Here's Fox, and it's Fox with the jam. The defense comes at Fox hard, but he's ready for it. He knows how to stay agile and nimble inside. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Thompson outside from the arc. Another three for Golden State. Because of his three. footwork and fundamentals, Thompson always looks on balance and does a great job of squaring his shoulder. And the pass to Sabonis. This is Demur. Here he goes. Oh, he jams it right over Cream on Cream. Wow and showing some creativity. Murray smooth and lethal. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Oh, oh, with my. authority! That is a monster finish. Oh. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Kept alive. Sabonis. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Sabonis has got four points now in the quarter. Nice persistence on the glass. Sabonis understanding how to use his body and length, too. Here's Pajemski, guarded by Fox. And a wide open look here for Wiggins from outside off the mark. The Kings trail by 11. Barnes kicks to Fox. And he drives in, and it's Fox with the jam. Explosive move by Fox, and if you're the defense, you've got to come to expect that. Pass to Jackson Davis. Here's Pajemski. He's got eight. Now here's Green. Inside. And Wiggins Andrew with the Wiggins. basket on the assist by Green. Assist. Green's got Green. five assists in the game. For Sacramento, they've gone eight of ten shooting here in the second half. Very strong. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. Second shot opportunity. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Fox has got 18 points in the game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? Time out called the Warriors. And the Kings making a change here. McGee's checked in. Kuminga's come in for the Warriors. Paul comes in for Wiggins. Here's Pajemski. And he banks in the layup. Pajemski's got four points now in the quarter. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Here's McGee. Knocks down the 10-footer. It is tough for any defender to impact a jump shot when he's giving up so much height. Kicks it to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Paul. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Tough bucket. A lot of contact on the foul, but Chris Paul sticks with it and gets it to go. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. Free throw, good, Paul. And RJ, don't you feel like the leadership of Chris Paul still will play a factor? 
no matter who his teammates are at any given moment, there's no question who's running the show. Paul knows how to make any five-man group look like a cohesive unit, Greg. Barnes kicks to McGee, and three. he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Well, a chance here to check out Chris Paul. Great showing for him last season. Last season, put up about 14 points a game, nine assists, and four rebounds. And, and you look at those numbers, but really his main asset is being a playmaker. Great handle, great vision. That's how he drops so many dimes. Here's Kaminga. And they pick up two. Jonathan Kaminga. Kaminga's got the lead up to 14 now for the Warriors. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning to the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Paul with the ball. He's got five. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on to Aaron Fox. Free throw good, Paul. It's impressive what an enduring talent Chris Paul has been. A lot has changed around the league, but CP3... And it's Edwards in for Harrison Barnes. The Warriors also with a sub. Looney's checked in for Green. He's off on the second. All right, Richard, with the game on the walk, which current player would you choose taking the last shot? You can't go wrong with Dane Time. KD is up there, too, because he can get his shot off from anywhere. But you give me one shot... I'm going to say Clay Thompson. Pass to Pajemski. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got six in the quarter. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. From 12 feet out, and misses it off the right side of the rim. Warriors leading by 13. Here's Peyton. Count that one. Gary Payton's got six. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Mitchell outside. It's rebounded by Golden State. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Two minutes Here's Looney. Two minutes. Here's Kaminga. And Kaminga throws Kuminga. it down. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. And it's Fox with a jam. Ooh, I guess he didn't appreciate getting scored on on that last trip. I guess not. He threw it down right on top of him. Paul passes to Kaminga. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Assisted. Paul's got five assists in the game. Such a good facilitator. If your defense makes a mistake, Paul will find the open man. Pass to McGee. Mitchell in the corner. Just five to shoot. And the layup fall. Seven points in the game. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Pass to Pajemski. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Pajemski's got six here in this quarter. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. The Kings have been good at the free throw line in this one, 7 of 8. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Free throw good, Fox. You gotta love how scrappy De'Aaron Fox is. No matter what kind of challenges he faces in a game, he's never giving less than his all. Glenn with the block. 
two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Mitchell, and then Mitchell at the dunk. That should give him a nice little Jesus. jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt GM. And they need more where that came from. They're not out of this hole yet. Curry crashes inside. What focus from Curry, embracing the physicality and figuring out how to still capitalize through it. Takes it from 10. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Fox. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Stephen he's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of play. And so it's from Golden State Warriors. Looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. There wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Then it's Wiggins and it's Jackson Davis in at the center. Thompson outside. Wiggins from outside. Rebound by the Kings. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket for Ellis. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Curry with the bounce pass. Green passes to Curry. Thompson with it from downtown. Defense all over him. Thompson. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. And Mitchell gets it to go. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half. And that's a great way to cut into the lead. Two points. That one goes. Curry. Curry's got 43 points. The better shooter you are, the quicker you become. Curry makes it so hard to guard him in these little moments, he slips past the defense. And foul on the shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. First yeah, how about the body ball. control on First that one? Team. Narrowly misses getting the deuce. At the line for your Kings, Harrison Barnes. And he makes the first. Zabonis, he's checked in for Len. Barnes hits them both. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Pass to Jackson Davis. Curry against Mitchell. Curry on the move. Out to Thompson. Green against Murray. And it's Green missing. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. Here's Curry. The step back jumper is good. Curry's got 45 points. As they set their sights on locking up the win, he has to do everything in his power to make this happen. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Hey, guys, Mike Brown had some advice for the team during the break. Now, Coach challenged him. He said, this goes beyond this game. Show me how much heart you have for the season. Fight until the final buzzer. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Ellis, wide open. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. And that's 13 points for Ellis. 
His shot has been on point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. Outside, Green. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Thompson with the bucket. Something he's worked on over the years. Green is an elite passer. Passes it to Ellis. To the left wing. Green against Murray. Over Green. They get it back. Sabonis. Another shot. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Finishing over the defense. That's a big body move there by Sabonis. Pass to Jackson Davis. Higgins outside. And there's the pass to Kerr. Another three for Second Golden three. State. Goodness, this man is ripping three after three. An incredible display of shooting. Mitchell against Curry. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is kept down now to just 12 on the basket for Mitchell. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Jackson Davis can't get it to go. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Here's Barnes. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. He's just got it on automatic right now, shooting 100%, and that'll keep your confidence high. Down low. Sabonis, no good. Warriors leading by 12. Thompson outside. Throws it up high. It's deflected. Sabonis with the steal. Here's Murray. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. He's so agile at that wing position. The defense has to keep an eye on where Murray is in transition. It's Curry outside. And they'll get another chance. And there's Thompson putting it right back in. And the Warriors lead by 12. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Murray outside. Launches it from deep. A new 14 for the King. And he makes that one. Sabonis has got four this quarter. I like how aggressive Sabonis is inside. He just has a feel for how to score down there. Being left-handed also helps. Curry passes to Wiggins. Here's Jackson Davis. Battles Trace through traffic Jackson and lays Davis. it in. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Sabonis so feeling it out a bit. Here's Murray. The shot. No good. Great D that time from Green. To the inside. And Green slams Draymond it in. Green. With how much Draymond moves on the offensive end, Green gets a lot of dunk opportunities. Mitchell passes to Sabonis. It's blocked. And here we go. Here's Green. And he goes big with the dunk Green. right over Keegan Murray. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. And making sure they convert by finishing strong. Pass to Barnes. Murray outside. Sabonis trying to get open. And it's Murray that time on the assist by Barnes. Barnes has got three assists tonight. Mitchell against Kerr. Pass to Thompson. Here's Jackson Davis. 
outside curve. And they come right back with their own three points. Three points. Curry's got 53. I mean, no comment, but this is just unreal. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Here's Barnes. Over Wiggins. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Yeah, I like that he's not taking any chances there. Sabonis goes up strong with the finish. Ball against Fox. Here's Green. Len grabs the board. The Kings trail by 14. Barnes passes to Sabonis. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Barnes has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Golden State's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Thompson in the post. He's guarded by Ellis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. shooters we've ever seen. Thompson is also a proven winner and champion. Sacramento's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Warriors Warriors leading by 15. 136 left in the fourth. To the paint, here's Wiggins, and right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Bucket is good. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Warriors. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Stephen Curry. He came up with a bucket every time they needed him to. Great effort on offense, and he was a difference maker. Oh, he sees the mismatch, and he just goes to attack, keeping his jumper out of the defense's reach just too little. Fox against Paul. Green against Len. Fade away. And it's Green missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Right side, Sabonis. The Warriors pull it in. Paul surveying the floor. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be good on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's catch up with David Oliver to stay by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball's just moving around. It allows me to play make, and you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots where they are. Man, it was really flowing tonight. Man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.